Great finish here. Padres began the night down 7-3. Make it 7-6 now after Adrian Gonzalez three-run homer off Carlos Marmol, who has been dynamite this season. Gonzalez is 17th a year. So we got to bring on Kerry Wood to try to close it out. Michael Barrett making a bid. Oh, it looked like he may have gotten all of it, but didn't get enough of it. Reed Johnson catches it on the warning track. Cubs win their eighth in a row as they win 7-6 over the Padres. They just keep rolling. Eight in a row now. This was just their third road game during this streak, but it didn't stop the potent offense. Cubs averaging little more than five runs per game while batting 312 during this streak. Well, the first place Phillies facing the Reds. Jay Bruce, he's running his consecutive game streak to seven. Chase Utley's also a fine player, but only one guy in this game has 599 home runs. That's Ken Griffey Jr. He got a night off. General soreness was, was the term. How's that for putting a hurt on somebody, huh? Utley, two-run homer. He's now hit a home run in five straight games. The Phillies up 2-0. His 21st of the year. Ryan Howard, the big man to right center. And Utley, he's going to try to score. He likes to score. He's tagged out by David Ross. So the Phil's still up 2-0. Yeah, accurately called there to the plate. Top four, Phil, still 2-0. Jay Bruce, look at this guy, huh? Homers for the third straight game. Although the Phillies actually, Robert, they locked him down. He was just 2-4. for His average down, uh, dropped to 5 577. Top nine Send fills him up 5-4. Brad Lidge in for the save. He's better than whoever has been saving games for the Phil's last couple of years. Adam Dunn goes down. It's always good when number 44 is retired. Edwin Encarnacion as well. And then Joey Votto lines out to there. It's Utley. Look at oh. that guy. He is just everywhere. Lidge, 14 saves and 14 chances. ERA of .75 in Utley. He's just terrific. I, I sense a third straight MVP coming there in Philadelphia. Utley becomes the first second baseman in Major League Baseball history. History, hit seven homers over an eight-game span. He also becomes just the fourth player in history to have two separate five-game home run streaks in the same season. We had one not, not, not long ago. Last player to do it, Barry Bonds, during the uh, record 73 homer season in 2001. So I am declaring right now, the chase is on. 52 to go. Well, if Junior wants to get 600, he'll have to... Uh, have a good chance here in the next couple of days. He'll face the Phillies' Adam Eaton, Brett Myers in the next two contests, hitting better than 400 in his career against both those guys. And he faces two lefties, Cole Hamels, and then on to the Marlins and Andrew Miller. Cardinals hosting the Pirates. St. Louis trying to win its fourth straight series. Pirates down 4-0 in the seventh. It's the heartbreak kid, Jason Michaels, pinch hitting with the bases loaded. And that's a grand slam. His first home run as a Pirate, or tied at four. Next inning, still tied. Another Jason delivering some heartbreak. This one is Jason Bay off Adam Wainwright. Brings in Nate McLeod. Pirates hold on to win 5-4, just their third win in the last eight. Without Ortiz in the lineup, Red Sox finishing their series up with the Baltimore Orioles. Tim Wakefield, that pitch to Freddie Bynum is called a strike. And off camera, Orioles skipper Dave Tremblay yelling at Alfonso Marquez, and he gets run. But Tremblay's not through. He's got some visual aids. We got a seal here and a seal here, and we want to run it through the alley. Thank you, Vincent. <laughs> so Tremblay was gone. Marquez, by the way, a member of the Mexican Baseball Hall of Fame, so this ain't his first rodeo. He knows what he's doing back there. Manny Ramirez, he knows what he's doing up there as well. Solo homer, first player in history to hit career taters 500, 501, 502 in consecutive days. Bottom eight tied at three, bases loaded. Adam Jones clears them all. Aubrey Huff, Luke Scott, Ramon Hernandez, Eddie Murray, they all score. 6-3 Baltimore, top nine, two on, two outs. It's still 6-3, here comes Ramirez, tying run at the plate. He can't hit a home run there. Orioles win 6-3. They snap their four-game losing streak. The Yankees wrapping up their series at the Metrodome. Ron Hernandez trying to get his team a split in the series. Top first was scoreless. Alex Rodriguez. Well, now that ain't the Packers sweep, but it works. <laughs> Two-run shot is eighth of the season and third off Hernandez in 14 career ABs. 2-0 Yanks. They break out on top. Bottom six. Twins down 4-3. Delman Young. 0-2 pitch. That's going to cost you five bucks in the kangaroo cut. If you're Andy Pettit, Bobby Abreu can't make that catch. Michael Kadair scores. We're tied at four. Bottom seven, twins down, 5-4. And Joe Maurer swinging. How about this? His first homer of the season. He said it's about time. You don't want to get too deep with these things. You don't want to overthink them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're tied at five. Bottom eight, still tied at five. Now Kyle Farnsworth is in to pitch for the Yanks because Java Chamberlain getting ready to uh, 
start on Tuesday and Delman Young another number one overall pick just like Maurer he comes through and the Twins win it by a count of baseball Marlins Braves John Smolt activated from the table list sent to the bullpen for closer doozy out of the bullpen into a 4-3 uh, game in the ninth man on second with one out West Helms lines to center pinch runner Alfredo Amezaga advances to third is not going to try to score so after a shallow fly out to right Jeremy Hermita is up Two outs, Hermita singles to left. Omar Infante can't make that play. Mezga, Wes Helms both score, and the Marlins go up 5-4. That is a blown save for Smoltz in his return. Bottom nine, same score. Men on second and third. Two outs, Kevin Gregg pitching the dirt. That gets away. Jeff Francourt scores from third to tie up the game. All right, we're tied at five. Let's go to, let's go to overtime. How about three of them? No, this is just the tenth. One on, nobody out. You know, Escobar drives Logan Kensing's pitch. To, that is a go. Homer and the Braves win at 7-5. They take uh, Smoltz off the hook. A little CPR fashion, but it works. 7-5. Fresh off their sweep of the Houston Astros, the Brewers hosting the D-backs. Bottom seven. Milwaukee is down 3-1, but Chad Qualls in a bases loaded jam. Gabe Kapler chopping a third. Mark Reynolds' throw gets away big time. Two runs scored, and we're tied at three. Same score next inning. Prince Fielder. Ooh, boy. Is he still uh, not eating meat? I don't think so. Boy, I tell you what. Got Just... nothing against horse hide, though, does he? <laughs> no. Third homer in his last four games. Solomon Torres gets the save, and the Brewers win 4-3. to three. Arlington. Casey Blake already homered in the second. Here in the third, 3-0 count. Green, light him, let him hit another one, huh? His sixth of the year. Indians up 4-1, but there's a lot left in this ballgame. That is for sure. Hey, how about the season Josh Hamilton is having so far, right? SI cover boy. Very nice when you get that thing. AL player of the month for April and May. Second among AL outfielders in all-star voting. He moved up from uh, sixth this week and then he hits another home run off Aaron Laffey. He chuckles at how easy this game is. His 16th of the year. Rangers down 5-3. It's the first homer Laffey's given up all season. Top four. We got a full count. We got two outs. We got the bases full. Blake. Mm. Yeah, they kept him in the yard, right? That's a plus. But all the peoples are going to come home and score. Seven ribs in this game for Blake. Not enough really because it's 8-4 with the bases. Chuck Marlin. Big. Got to have the money ball. Grand slam, just his second home run of the year is a really good one, and we're tied at eight. Top seven. Crazy eights, Ben Francisco. How about we go double digits, huh? Two run shot. It's amazing every once in a while, ball fly out of there in Arlington, you know? Indians win it 13 to nine. Former Ranger Kenny Rogers loves pitching in Oakland. 23 and one all time at the A's dojo. Pitched seven innings, didn't figure in the decision, did give up this game-tying homer to Derek Barton. Barton's third of the season. Tied at two. In the ninth, Bobby Crosby brings in Kurt Suzuki, and that is a game winner. Suzuki picking him up and putting him down, and Oakland wins on a walk-off. Three to two over the Tigers. Sports Center's top plays. Disappointed report, actually, they are not all Brewers plays, as I had hoped. <laughs> but you know what? Tomorrow's another day. Number 10, Fred. French Open day nine, Roger Federer. He's very good, and then look at that forehand. That's why he's number one in the world. We're just killing time till he and Nadal play, aren't we? Yeah. Right, coming up like Sunday. Hey, you wanted a Brewer highlight? There you go. There you go. I wanted 10 of them, actually. Bill Hall, the Iceman Bill Hall. Robbing Chris Burke. Beautiful stop at third. He's played a little bit of uh, everywhere. everywhere. Can't find a spot, really. Just hit. Number eight, why don't you do that? University of Houston. Uh, thank you, John. University of Houston, Texas A&M. Winner goes to the Super Regional. But the story, Kyle Cooligan for Texas A&M. Two homers in the first two innings. Texas A&M faces Rice in the Super Regional. They beat the mighty Cougars 13-5. Cougars go home. Bummer. Number seven, Marlins Braves. Omar Infante drives, makes a nice stop there. You know, Escobar makes the out. Here we go. Got it. And then flip it over and Escobar. Hey, I got it. We're good. Braves win 7 5. Pirates, Cardinals. Aaron Miles. Deep fly ball. Nate McLeod. Oh, you know, that park has seen some great catches by a center fielder, Jim Edmonds, who now plays for the Cubs, but just looks weird. Used to make catches like that all the time. Weird stuff. Number five, Red Sox Orioles. Aubrey Huff sinking liner to center. Coco Crisp is sinking, and he's lining, and he's sliding, and he's catching. Orioles win 6-3.
So you had that play, but they were able to overcome that top play, and, and they won 6-3. World Cup qualifier, Oman against Japan. Yuji Nakazawa, the header, and the Japanese win. 3-0. Yep, soccer goal, top play. Number three, Stanley Cup Finals, game five, Penguins, Red Wings. Gail Samuelson, Samuelson shoots, Marc-Andre Fleury, the kick save and a beauty. That's a good, solid hockey cliche, kick save and a beauty. At number two, same game, Maxime Talbot with the Penguins on the brink of elimination. I'm talking like 35 seconds left in their season. Ties the game. And of course, that led to this. Sure, number one, that would be third overtime. See the last three plays, all from this, and one for each overtime. Evgeny Malkin to Peter Sakura, who scores. And they're going back to Pittsburgh for game six. Penguins win game five, four, three. It's behind. The three-time Cy Young Award winner coming back from that strain left hammy. Randy went on second, bottom one tie game. Benji Molina, Jose Reyes throws out a win. Reyes did have his 18-game hitting streak snap, but Pedro appreciates the defense. Bottom three, same score, one on, one out. Martinez strikes out win. Three Ks in six innings for Pedro. Let's go to the fifth. Top five, Mets up 4-1. Martinez at the plate. Big spot. Bags full. Pedro. Just like he planned it, placed it perfectly, softly. Fernando Tatis scores. Pedro, his second hit of the night. He hasn't done that since 1997. New York with eight runs in that inning, the biggest inning for them this year. Let's go to the six. Willie Randolph looking on. Giants at first and third, nobody out. Joe Smith getting loose in the pen. Martinez still in the game, though, with that six-run lead, facing Brian Horowitz. Gets him, swinging. Next batter, Fred Lewis. Forget about it on the nasty stuff. How about Travis Denker? Are you kidding me? Martinez would scatter seven hits in six innings. He threw 109 pitches. That'll work. Willie is happy. Let's move to the ninth. Billy Wagner coming on after Scott Schoenweiss gave up a three-run homer to Travis Denker, his first in the bigs. 9-6 the game. Here comes Billy facing Aaron Rowan. One on, one out. End the suspense. That's a double play. Mets win. 12 save for Wagner. Barry Zito drops to 1-9. Martinez, 10-2 lifetime against the Giants. Runs now. David Ortiz on the DL. There's Manny Nice. You know how many singles he has in his career now? 502 homers. 1,269 career singles. Good research. Batter Mike Lowell sends that one deep left, and yeah, you can't get up the top of that wall. That's off Matt Garza, his eighth of the season, 2-1 Red Sox, and then J.D. Drew comes through as well. His sixth of the season. Sox producing without Poppy. They're up 3-2, but Carlos Pena, oh my goodness, he clubs that one off Justin Masterson. Two will score, 11th of the season, and the Rays go up 4-3 there, a feisty bunch. We're tied at four in the sixth. Coco Chris, no ribbies in his last 10 games, comes through like you knew he would. Ramirez, J.D. Drew, both score, and the Red Sox go up 6-4, and then win at 7-4, Papelbon the save. The Braves and I popping 23-7 and seven at home, look for another W against the Marlins. Chipper Jones came in hitting 4 7 Bottom one, two on, Chipper. Number 399, tying in with Hall of Famer Al Kaline and Andres Galarraga, a former teammate. Two more hits for Chipper in this one. He's now hitting 409. Nice. Top four, one run first, nobody out. Dan Ugla. That's his second home run of the night. This one off of Jorge Campillo. Ugla's 18th, second in the majors. Three RBIs. To the eighth, runners on second and third, nobody out. Greg Norton hitting 171 coming in. He's only playing because uh, two outfielders are hurt. That'll work. Norton into second with a double. Braves lead 5-4. to four. He'll take it. Top nine, Rafael Soriano comes in to close it. Remember, John Smoltz had a blown save Monday night, and Soriano would pick up his second save. Braves improved to just 3-16 and 16 in one-run games. Dimebacks in the crew in Walkie. Randy Johnson, three strikes from regaining the number two spot in baseball's all-time strikeout list. And number three there, and it's Mike Cameron. So is ahead of Roger Clemens, and I'm pretty sure the list is going to stay that way for quite some time. Still a ways to go to catch Nolan Ryan. We'll touch on that here after the highlight is through. But first in the fourth, one's at Dimebacks. Prince Fielder grounds back to Johnson, who barehands it. I'm not really sure that's a, a wise idea. Hey, right back there, that thing's dangerous. But, you know, it works for him. He comes out uninjured. That's all right. Fielder's like bummer. Oh, how about Ryan Braun? Big hitter, huh? Two-run shot off Johnson. His 16th of the season. Brewers go up 2-1. And 
Braun's going to love that. He's got a homer off a Hall of Famer to tell everybody about. Woo! Don't drink and slide. Here comes Fielder. Behold the power of cheese. Oh, big fella. Woo! Off Max Scherzer. Tenth of the season. The Brewers win 7-1. They are just rolling merrily along their fifth straight victory. Jays Yankees, big news in New York and Nebraska. Jabba Chamberlain taking his first turn in the starting rotation. Recall last month he had to go back to see his father who was ailing. Well, his father, well enough to see him pitch here on Tuesday. Chamberlain issuing a leadoff walk to Shannon Stewart. Not so good, but next batter strikes out Marco Scudero. Nasty breaking ball in the next at bat. Alex Rios Chamberlain throws the pickoff for a call for a balk. Stewart's awarded second. So Rios, same at bat for Alex Rios. Jose Molina can't handle the inside pitch from Chamberlain. Stewart will go to third. Play ruled in pass ball. Rios still trying to get his hacks. Finally does. Grounds out the second, but Stewart will score. And just like that, the Jays have a one-zip lead. Later in the frame, bases are Chuck Chamberlain to face Rod Barajas. As you see, bases Chuck, and down goes Barajas. 38 pitches thrown in the first inning by Chamberlain. That's a lot of work. You're not going the route when you go 38, especially when they're only going to throw 60, 65, 70 pitches into the second. Chamberlain strikes out David Eckstein. Chamberlain. Four pitch walk to Rios. That'd be all for Chamberlain. You're done. 62 pitches, two and a third innings, 32 strikes, the earned run, three Ks, four walks. Get out! Top seven, Yanks down 4 2. Eduardo Ramirez into pitch for the Yanks. Of course, the bullpen now suffering without Jabba there. Rod Barajas this time roping a double, and the Blue Jays go on to win this thing quite easily 9 3. Thoughts, comments, and opinions on the job Jabba did on Tuesday. And in five games in a row, so there's big stuff happening here. There's the Chaster. Bottom third, Phillies down one, Utley. First time up. Broken bat, base hit up the middle. Jimmy Rollins will score. So even when the guy's just making toothpicks out of his lumber, he does good things. He finished two for three with a ribby. Bottom six, same score. Pat Burrell facing Aaron Harang. Now we flash back to his previous at bat. And Harang uh, strikes out Burrell with a low breaking ball. It's all about location. So what will happen now? Goes down swing. Well, we'll go to the six and let's see. That location, not as good. Mm. Hit him right in the middle of the bat. Burl, deep gone, two-run shot, 14th of the year. So he makes up for Utley finally not hitting a home run. He was terrible, really. Phillies go up 3-1, bit of a CPR finish. Top eight, Reds down 3-2. Ken Griffey Jr. pinch hitting. He sat out, of course, General Soreness. My father, you know, he served in Korea under General Soreness. Does not get home run number 600. Phillies get the win. Baseball now, but it looked like football. Bat Kemp is responsible. Dodgers down 2 nothing. Kemp at the plate, 2-1, one, one out. Jeff Francis gets Kemp, who was 0 for 4. So Kemp may have not gotten a hit in this game unless you want to count hitting the opposing catcher. Just watch in the eighth. Yeah, Kemp makes his way to first, and then he and catcher at Yorva Torrealba exchange words, and the ball begins. What a takedown. Both benches would clear. Kemp would be restrained by Juan Pierre, of all people. Not so much a big guy. Tori Alba would take a breather. Catch his breath. Take another look. How the heck did this happen over a strikeout? The two appear to get tangled up. Kemp shoves Tori Alba, and Tori Alba comes back at him and then shoves the ball in his neck. Both players were thrown out. Rockies, however, would win, snapping their 13-game road losing streak. The Dodgers have lost 9 of 12 under Joe Torrey. Only throw six innings all season. That last start came April 11th. Bottom four were scoreless. The bases Chuck Carlos Gonzalez grounds out to end the inning. Mum Willis is pleased. Willis four scoreless, two hits, three Ks, five walks, no decision. Because here in the eighth we're tied at four. Derek Barton, that's not a base hit. That's Curtis Granderson. I mean, it was high, it wasn't very far, and there's Granderson from nowhere. You know the only thing better than Anderson. Yes, Granderson. Bottom 11, we're still tied at four. Bases are chucks for Jack Cuss with two out, and he took two Herculean swings, mighty Casey swings. He tried a third, and sometimes you don't have to hit at 800 feet. 85 will do. He beats that thing out. Kurt Suzuki scores, and the A's win it in extras 5-4. There was much rejoicing. Mariners are disgusting. 13 and a half games back of the Angels in the AL West. Infield defense, not so great in Seattle. Top second, one nothing Angels. Bags full two out. Eric Godard against Isteras. Up the middle. Under the glove it goes of Jose Lopez. Angels up 3 nothing. Two runs come in to the fifth. Bottom of the inning. Mariners down 5-1. Two out. Two on. Jose Lopez against Joe Saunders. On the ground. That's booted by Howie Kendrick. Runners are safe.
and Bettencourt scores to make it 5-2. After an RBI by Jose Vidro made it 5-3. Raul Abanez on the ground. Rob Quinlan, yikes with the throw. That pulls Casey Kochman off the bag. Lopez scores, cuts the lead to 5-4. Angels. Next batter, Adrian Beltre, two on, two out. Beltre, live with it. Saunders, an AL best ninth win. Angels hang on to win. In a row, the last one, the series opener against San Diego, even more impressive. Seven straight come from behind wins here in the streak, and they were down 2 nothing. So right away, they had to pause where they wanted them. Adrian Gonzalez lines when foul goes off, some poor fell out there. Picked up by another fan who's a Cubs fan, and the other fella is a presumed, well, there you see him. He's a Cub fan. The other guy, though, is a presumed lout, is a Padre. Look, look at this. I'm a Cubby. The boy's a Cub. There you go. Oh, there you go. See? The Cubs fans, a lot of love right there, right? They're feeling it. That it's just, it's like the 1908 good times all over again. It's Giovanni true. Soto. It's true. Tenth of the season. Cubs take a 4-3 lead. Yeah, but the last time they had the best record in the majors this deep into the season, 1908. I feel good karma. All right. Alfonso Soriano crushes his 14th. The Cubs win at 9-6. Linda, their magic number is 101. It's going to happen. The baseball diamond will go. Sox, they're in first place. Royals are not. There's Guillen. What do you got for me? Huh? Huh? Bottom first. One man on. Carlos Quinton. Poll in one of the local papers said the best thing for the, the uh, White Sox to do to boost the offense would be to clone Quinton. That's why two run homer is 15th of the year. Two nothing Sox. And now they're just pounding it out. It's embarrassment. Runners on second and third. Orlando Cabrera singles. First pitch up the middle base knock. It's 4 nothing White Sox. Now they're just heaping it on. A.J. Pruszynski. They're flaunting their newfound offensive prowess. Somebody punch A.J. That's a two-run shot. His fourth year. 6-0 home team. The slugfest would continue. Bottom six, 7-2. Alexi Ramirez. Hanging, breaking ball. Hangs, hangs, hangs till it's over the wall in the seats. Nine runs for the Sox. They pound the Royals. Astros. Pirates. Lance Berkman trying to end a five-game streak for the Astros. Yeah, no score, man on second, two out, Berkman. That'll work. Xavier Nady can't come up with this, and Kaz Matsui went four for four in this game, scored two runs. There's an example. Berkman, one for four, is averaged down to 382. The magic Wandy Rodriguez on the hill. Jose Batista lines a shot right back at me. Thanks, everybody, that he didn't hit him. Adam LaRoche up, bags full, two out. Rodriguez gets LaRoche. Thread over. Rodriguez goes six with the help of three relievers, and this team would have a shutout because Hunter Pence helping out does that. Astros go on to win two to nothing. So much for that five-game skid. And it was hit homers in three straight games. Do I hear four? I don't hear four. 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 Thank you. Yeah, four straight games, 67 RBIs, tops in the majors. Milton Bradley says I could do that. Maybe I thought not. we had a golf highlight. I was thrown. Well, I'm trying to tee you up. Get it? Bradley's 10th. To the 8th, 9-6. Bottom of the 8th, base is empty. We know how much you love golf. Mm -hmm. Milton Bradley, don't tell me. Okay, I showed you. Two for three, two homers. Rangers rule in Arlington, 12-7. Whatever happened to the Indians? We made an 11. Sports Center's top plays, number 10. Fred, Royals, White Sox, Miguel Olivo grounds to third, Joe Creedy. How about that? See, if you pitch and you play defense, then the offense, well, whenever it comes around, will be fine. There you go, Oz. How about that? Plus, you got nine runs on top of that. That's all well and good. Joe Creedy, excellent. Number nine, your champion, national champion, Kansas Jayhawks, visiting the White House and meeting with the president. President Bush showing off some dribbling skills. Yeah. And he posed for pictures. Softly nice. Number eight, softball. Arizona State, Texas A&M. Katie Burkhart is a star in the Sparkies. Or they be the Sparkettes. Uh, their first women's college World Series title. Number seven, Jays, Yankees, Jose Molina. Scott Rowland. Yeah, he does this. The spinorama and throws for the out. Blue Jays win it 9-3. to three. Spoiling Jabba's debut. Love the spinorama. Number six, Rockies Dodgers. Your Vittori Alba grounds the second. Jeff Kent makes a great play. Flips the ball out of his glove to Chin Ling Hu at second. He makes the turn. That's fancy right there. Rockies won 3 nothing. Yeah, but can they do this? Shin kicking championships in England. The goal? What else? Knock your opponent down by kicking at his shins. Yeah, the first one to collapse, John, is out. Steeple Dog Williams it's, won this. It's like soccer, but without a ball. Uh, number four. Line drive, center field. Here comes Frio, and he got it. Ryan Frio saves a run. Great effort by the red center fielder.
Great effort. Uh, not enough, though, as the Reds fall to the Phillies 3 2. Number three, Astros and Pirates. Freddie Sanchez testing Hunter Pence. And Pilates paying off for Pence. What a catch. Can I see that again? I looked away to butter my bagel. Astros win it 2 0. Where's Lance Burke? He's the big Puma now. We like him a lot. Number two, Tigers Athletics. Derek Barton bloops one into center field. It's high. Is it far? Is Curtis Granderson available? Woo! Here he comes. Look at that. Just flying through there. I got it, boys. He probably called that 20 steps ago. A's one in the left. But number one is Sound Up. And the 44 year old Randy Johnson. Play. How about that? Randy Johnson with the bare head retires Prince Fielder. Spank. That's what flesh sounds like.